Welcome to your Team Care Pal community. We're going to show you around. If you go to the bottom right hand corner where the settings button is, you're going to see it looks like a hamburger. Click it. In here are all the settings for you to manage your community and your profiles. So when you first come in, you're going to see your profile. If you click the little pencil button up by the C, you're going to see that this is a great opportunity to edit any information you want. You can even put in a profile picture to personalize it. If you click the next button, you're going to see that this is where you can manage your community. You may not have any users when you first start out, so we'll go over that first. If you click Invite to Community, you'll be able to invite your friends or families or networks through these three different options. You can invite them by email, they can scan a QR code, or you can even give them a community code so that when they download the app from the App Store, all they have to do is put in this code and they can join. You can use the QR code to put into organization bulletins and make it easier to share as you're out and about. Or you can invite by email where they will get an email notification to join your wonderful community. In this email, you have the option to make them a caregiver, a loved one, or just invite them as a community user. I'm gonna explain a little bit about that. When you look down here, you're going to see there's caregiver users and community users. The caregiver users are the ones that are a little bit more close and personal to caring for your loved one. They will have more ability, more access to features such as the caregiver journal, making appointments, or sending out announcements to the community. The rest of the community users will not see these features. So if you wanted to bring a community user up into a caregiver user, all you have to do is click the little person beside their name and then they get pushed up. But if you were done with them and they would no longer wanted to be a community user, say they were just filling in for the weekend and you were back home, you can click the little button beside their name again and you can remove them as a caregiver. Another really great feature in here is that you have the ability to switch communities. If you click switch communities, you're going to notice that I am a part of two different communities. I look after my OMA and I also am in my friends community. So just by clicking the little circle button, I can switch to my friends communities and switch back really easily. This is a great way to manage your community. If you click the net button, you're going to see that this is a great opportunity to edit in any information for your loved one and you can give them a profile picture as well. And then all the way to the right, you're going to see all of the general settings. This is a wonderful opportunity for you to reset your password, provide some really good feedback for us to do better. You can learn about Team Care Pal our terms and conditions, the privacy policy, and you can even opt out of email notifications if you prefer.